Is infection control important? It has all of a sudden become a high, very high priority. All of a sudden may not be right, but um, the Centers for Disease Control has reviewed hospital-acquired infections and has identified what they call the big five. And I won't go over all big five, but uh, among the, the highest, first or second, would be Clostridium difficile infection. And what they have said is hospitals will be um, fin financially uh, hurt if they do not stop Clostridium difficile infection. Uh, this is CMS, so it's the major payer uh, in America, the American healthcare system, and therefore it makes it a very high priority. Now, most of us would say, well, it ought to be a high priority anyway, but this gives it real glue. Uh, in terms of how you do that, uh, a major part of that is controlling antibiotics. The best studies are from the UK, where uh, they were told they had to get the rates of Clostridium difficile down. They did some very nice work with uh, gene sequencing and so forth, and wound up concluding that the major way to control C. diff is to control the antibiotics that induce the disease, primarily fluoroquinolones and cephalosporins. And that if you control those drugs, restrict them in some uh, effective way, they were able to reduce the rates by 70%. Now, that's not 70% for a hospital. That's 70% for a country, uh, which is, to me, incredibly impressive. What they wound up saying is that antibiotic control is the best way to control Clostridium difficile infection.